Hi friends, it's Miss Sue from Finkelstein Memorial Library and welcome to Starry Night Painting Craft. Some of the things that we've given you in your craft bag are paints and a sponge brush, a regular brush, um, some white paints, and I gave you two bottles of paint, one purple and one blue, and two little cups to pour it in. So I've already poured some. You don't need to put a lot in, maybe less than a quarter of a cup. And some things you'll need at home. You'll need a cup of water. And I've also given you a piece of watercolor paper. So the first thing we're going to do is wet our, oh, also I've put down, put something down on the table. I like to put wax paper down to protect the, the table. So the first thing we're gonna do is wet our sponge and we're gonna Put the water on our entire paper. Not too wet. I'm gonna dip it one more time. Another thing you'll need is a square of paper towel. So I've wet my paper. I'm gonna dab it. Now what I'm gonna do is dip my brush into the paint, my sponge brush. We're using the sponge brush. You don't have to put too much in. And I'm going to make squiggles. I'm going to go, I could do squiggles. You can do whatever you like. We're making the night sky. Gets too light. Add some more paint. Get all the corners. I'm going to cover, cover the entire paper with the blue. If you like, you can even do it like this, whatever kind of squiggles you would like to make. Don't be afraid to go over any spots that you missed. Get all the corners. Now I'm going. You don't have to clean your sponge brush. I'm gonna. Now I want to add some pink because you know when it's the night, the, the the sun is setting. Sometimes we see a little pink. So I'm just gonna go back and add some of the actually purple to our picture. If it gets too light, we can always add more blue. Go over the whole picture. Adding the purple. And you can go back if you feel it's too much purple. Add a little more blue. Okay. 
Okay. So here's our... So what we're going to do now is you're going to put this aside and let it dry. It should dry in about 15 minutes. I already have one that's already dry. And what we're going to do, I also forgot to tell you that I've given you a magic marker and that is to draw your tree. Remember, we're drawing a tree and a snowman and we'll be adding snowflakes or stars. So, you can, I like to start my tree with like the trunk of the tree and fill it in and then I'm going to make a branch here and I'm going to add some more branches now it's winter so there aren't any leaves on the tree the trees are bare done. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to take my white paint. Don't have to use, here's my brush. I'm just going to dab it like snowflakes. You can also And remember, the, the snow is also falling on the tree, so you want to put some snow on the, on the branches. So we're going to add some snow, we'll add as many snowflakes as you like. Up here, let's make a circle for the moon. Our moon. Let's add and we're going to add the snow. You can just dab, just go like that. snowy winter. <clears throat> sure you've been out to play in the snow. Let's add a snowman. How many of you made a snowman? I'm 
Now we can get, um, taking our marker, we can add a hat. When it dries, you can add the buttons for the snowman and the face for the snowman. So boys, friends, I hope you've enjoyed making your starry night winter painting. Enjoy, get out and play in the snow because there's more snow in the forecast. Be well, stay safe, and keep reading, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.